Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Mac formatted hard drive or solid state drive into a Windows formatted one so that you can use it on your Windows computer. So this particular disk 4 on the disk management tool on Windows is a Mac formatted APFS um, solid state drive which I've attached to my computer and uh, what I would like to be able to do is to format this to be able to use it on my Windows computer and format it as an NTFS drive. So the first step that we should do is to open the disk management tool. So we click on start and we type in disk management and we get to this menu here create and format hard disk partitions which I'm going to click on now. And uh, this disk management tool gives an overview of all of the drives that are connected to your computer. This particular disk 4 here is the one that I want to format here. And you can just con confirm that by turning it off and on, which we're going to do now. So I'm going to turn it off, um, disconnecting the solid state drive, and then I'm reconnecting it now. And I'm, and I'm sure that this disk 4 is the correct one. So the next thing to do is click on the start menu and then type in the word disk part. And now this will open the disk part command line interface. So uh, don't be too afraid of this. It's really quite easy to use. Uh, what we can do first is to list disk, and that will give us an overview of the disk management, which we can also see from this interface on the left here. It's the same. So we have disk zero to disk four, and uh, here we have disk zero to disk four listed here on the left as well. And um, what we want to do is um, select the disk four. So that's the one that we're going to be formatting. And then here we're just going to type in the word clean. And because we've selected disk four already, once I press enter here, it's going to completely wipe disk four and it's going to allow Windows to be able to access the data on it. So I'm going to press enter now. And as you can see now, disk four is now an unallocated uh, partition. So I can actually right click on this left column here and then initialize the disk. And then I'm going to give it the GPT partition and press OK here. And now I can actually click on this volume and then right click on this and click new simple volume. Uh, and then we'll just go through this wizard setup. So we just uh, select the maximum amount of space and then we're going to assign it a drive letter and uh, we'll give it a name videos is what I'm going to call it and click next and click finish. So uh, you can see that's formatting now and just let that finish and uh, we'll be able to read it on Windows very soon. So um, it's opened up the Explorer window for the G drive, the new videos drive I've just created. And if I right click and click on properties here, I can see that it is a NTFS drive. So um, anyway, that's how you convert a Mac uh, EFI hard drive or solid state drive into a Windows readable NTFS drive. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.